welcome back to Make It With Mod Podge. I'm Kathy Fillion, and today I'm going to show you how to make some spring pendants using a Dimensional Magic by Mod Podge. Now, Dimensional Magic is going to give these pendants that clear, glassy-like finish, almost like a resin, but this is non-toxic and you don't have to mix it. So this is really perfect for creating some quick, fun pendants, and you can do these with kids. So let's take a look at some of the designs. So I've got some spring florals going on here today, and you can really see that glassy finish that I'm talking about. It's so cool, isn't it? Now you can do this with any kind of designs that you want. I wanted to do some florals, and I found some floral papers, and these were not the size I wanted because I was making just these one inch pendants. So I took them and I reduced them on a copy machine. So this is a really quick tip for if you find some images or some papers that you love, just go ahead and shrink them down to fit on the size of your pendant. I'm using a one inch circle pendant. This is just a wood piece. And then I've gone ahead and done all of the work on the other side. Look how cute these turn out. Now, once they're done, you can glue a bale to them. These are really easy to make. So let's dive right in and I'm gonna show you how to do them. For that glass-like finish, we're using Mod Podge Dimensional Magic. And like I said earlier, I shrunk down my papers so that my floral designs would fit in my one inch wood disc. Go ahead and protect your work surface with some wax paper. And we're going to use a circle punch to punch out our one inch circle design. If you don't have a circle punch, you can of course just trace with a pencil around the wood piece and cut out your circle. Once you have your circle cut out, you're going to be ready to Mod Podge it directly to the wood disc. I'm using Mod Podge in matte for this, and we're gonna use Mod Podge as the glue and the sealer, so we will go back over the top. So just go ahead and add a little bit of your Mod Podge to the back of your paper, and then you're gonna place your paper right onto the piece of wood. This is a one inch circle, but these come in lots of different sizes. Then just press with your fingers and flatten to remove any air bubbles, and then wait about 20 minutes. And after 20 minutes, you can give it a top coat with a little bit more Mod Podge. Now at this point, before you do the dimensional magic, it's really important that this dries for about four to five hours. To create that glass-like finish, we're gonna use the Dimensional Magic now, and this is really easy to do. First, you're just going to gently roll the bottle or turn it upside down just to mix it. Please do not shake it. You do not wanna add any air bubbles. You're gonna to wanna to use a toothpick or a sewing pin to pop any air bubbles. First, prime your bottle by squeezing a little bit out onto the wax paper before you begin your project. Then you're gonna go around the outer edge of the pendant piece and it will start to pool up and fill in on the inside. And then just add more to the center and you can go around the outer edge. Use a pin to pop any air bubbles. Now let this dry for 24 hours overnight. Look at how gorgeous these turn out. They look like little glass pieces of china, so beautiful. Now to these, we're gonna add some bales. These are flat backed small bales and we're just gonna use a little heavy duty glue that works for metal and wood to secure these to the back of our pendants. It is important to make sure that you have your bale going in the direction that you want your pendant to hang. Once the glue on the bale is dry, you can string your chain through the loop on the bale. I'm using this really great rhinestone cup chain just to add a little bling to my pendant. And then at the end of the chain, you'll just go ahead and add your fasteners. And that's how quick and easy you can create a fun Mod Podge Dimensional Magic pendant. Really super cute for spring. Look how quick and easy these are to make. These are so fun. These are great to make as gifts and they are very easy on the budget. Now remember, it's dimensional magic to get that glassy finish at the top and we use Mod Podge Matte to glue and seal our paper down. Super fun and easy project for some spring jewelry. 
Thanks so much for joining me today. I'd love to see what you're making, so make sure you use those hashtags Plaid Crafts and Mod Podge so everybody back at Plaid can see your designs. Have a great crafty week. Look how cute.